This is going to be a love reading for Cancer. Okay, so I'm filming this. I'm filming this on the last day of May. By the time I upload it, it's probably going to be June 1st. So I apologize for that, Cancer. Um, we're just going to go ahead and go right into your reading. I have my Rider weight. I also have my Dragon Tarot. Um, my Keepers of the Light, which I'm going to use for your spirit message. The Who Oracle. And the Love Deck. That's what it's called. Excuse me. One second. Okay. I'm going to start with the tarot, the regular rider weights, and then I'm going to go on to the dragon tarot. So we're reading now for Cancer. Move this camera back a bit. Reading now for Cancer. What can you tell me about Cancer's love life? Four. The time line we are on right now. Hope you're doing well, my wonderful water sign. Cancer, reading now for Cancer. Cancer, reading for Cancer. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. Four cards for Cancer, please. Whoa. Oh my god. Those cards just flipped out. We're not taking them. Oh. Your energy is all over the place, Cancer. You have two major arcana cards right off the bat, just so you know. Okay, so <clears throat> there's a whole lot of magic going on in your life right now, isn't there, Cancer? I see you really, really trying to manifest your um, significant other or partner, okay? Um, but let me just say this. <clears throat> damn this damn tripod. Hold on. It's getting in the way of my cards and it's distracting me. Okay, so I see you really trying to manifest your partner, okay? But what's really confusing to me is we have this, we have, we have the chariot, which is, it could just be Cancerian energy. You know, this is the card of cancer, right? It's, it's cancer. It's cancer's energy card. Okay. But it feels a little bit like because you're, you're so intense on how do I put this? Because it feels like because you're so intent on manifesting your person, you're sort of missing like the forest for the trees. I I don't know how else to say that. So we got this card of like working really hard at trying to fight off desires for someone, and which doesn't make any sense to me because like you're trying to manifest your person, yet I feel like you know who this person is. But you're trying to like pretend like you don't have any desires for this person, which to me doesn't make any sense at all. Like it's really confusing. And I'm sure it's confusing for the person that you're dealing with, whoever it is. And at this point, I feel like you're satisfied with everything in your life except for your love life. You, you feel like you're at this point where like you have everything that you want except for there's something missing and it's your partner and that's why you keep trying to manifest this person hold on a second
But which doesn't make sense to me is like why if you spent so long manifesting this person are you trying to pretend like you don't care about them? <laughs> I mean, okay, so here's here's the manifestation card. Here's the chariot, which is like opposing desires, fighting off desires, okay? It's also Cancerian energy. We have, you know, the Eight of Pentacles, which is like putting in a lot of work, working really hard at something, and it came out right with the chariot. So this shows me that you're working really hard at fighting off desire, which makes absolutely no sense. And then we have the Two of Wands, which is this card of like feeling like something's missing. You know, like you experienced a lot of things, but the one thing that you can't experience right now is love. Okay. I mean, you have two major arcana, arcana cards, so I see you as doing really well. I just don't understand what's going on with <laughs> this other energy of like fighting off. You know, it's like... You ask for a cake, the universe gives you everything to make a cake, and then you go, ah, I'm not sure I really want that cake. <laughs> I was looking for a different flavor or something. I don't know. It's just... All right. Four more cards for cancer. I'm going to draw from the dragon deck. <laughs> so funny. And I don't understand that. I love you, cancers. I just... I mean, my ascending sign is a water, water sign, too. I'm a, I'm a Scorpio rising, so... I know all about how we can have like conflicting emotions. Oh, this flipped up. It's a tower. It's a tower card. So something happened. Maybe that sort of changed your mind, maybe, about the path that you're headed. Can we get, oh, that one flew out. Queen of Wands. So you're dealing with a possible fire sign. Stubborn and spunky. That's just what I heard. Oh my gosh. Another card just flew out. What is this? Six of Pentacles. Okay. Maybe you feel like the give and take and the balance in your relationship is off with this person. Oh. I love your energy. It's beautiful. Cards just keep flying out. All right. The star. Hold on one second. Okay. I was trying to figure out why the lighting was all weird. And it's because I had the blue light filter on and I didn't realize it I was like why is the lighting so weird okay that makes sense all right so we have the six of pentacles and we have the star so you feel like the give and take in this relationship was off but you're still not giving up hope okay ouch two more cards for this hold my own hair better two more cards for cancer please Ooh, hold on. Just got super dizzy when I did that. One second, Cancer. Sorry. What the fuck? It must be the heat or something. Whew. Just got really, really dizzy. I when I flipped my hair back like that to get it out of the way because I kept pulling it when I was pulling the cards and I just got so dizzy. Houses. Okay. I'm feeling better. Do you guys like my dress? <laughs> okay. So, where are we? Oh, another card just flew out. <laughs> we have Ace of Swords. Yeah, see? You definitely... Okay. Something was definitely discovered with this tower. We have the tower. We have the Ace of Swords. Something. You discovered something that you didn't like. Yeah, you still want. I still see you wanting to be with this person. And also the star says that you are, you are on the right path. Let's get one more card for this spread. Please for Cancer. And then we're going to go on to Cancer Singles. Okay. What's going to be the outcome? The outcome is Four of Cups. Okay, so for those of you that are in this whole weird scenario, I'm sorry, I love you, Cancer. But for those of you that are in this whole situation where you're like, it's going to stable out, okay? 
whatever desires you're trying to fight off, stop doing that. <laughs> stop doing that cancer and stick with it. You put in all this hard work to manifest this person. And now I see the Four of Cups is, is going to bring some stability. This is also going to bring your relationship to a whole new level of commitment. S excuse me. So stick with it. Stick with it, Cancer. It's, it's going to work out for you. <laughs> okay. Those are for, that's for those Cancers that are, um, they have someone in mind that, you know, someone that's on their mind and someone that they're sort of involved with okay so now i'm gonna pull some cards for our cancer singles okay what do our cancer singles need to do, please what do you got for cancer singles cancer singles please what do we got for cancer singles Thank you for allowing me to read the clear channel for source messages. What do we have for cancer singles? Whoa, did you see that? Look at that. We have the Emperor. Wow. You are in some divine masculine energy today, aren't you? Ooh, wait. Knight of Wands. Let me just pull out one more card, please. Hold on. One more card, please. That one flew out. Whoa, that one came out in reverse. Okay, so for those cancers that are single, there is going to be a lot of people coming forward very quickly, um, a po possible fire signs. We have Knight of Wands, which shows me like strong fire sign energy. So Aries, Taurus, or did I just say Taurus? Aries, um, Leo, Sagittarius energy. The Five of Wands shows me that there is going to be a lot of people competing for your hand right now, Cancer. Um, and I don't blame them. Cancers are fantastic. So I love me some water signs. Okay, and then the Ten of Swords in reverse is showing me that, you know, all of this healing work that you've been doing on yourself is paying off because you are not going to have any shortage of, of suitors, um, Cancer signs. Okay, so... And for those of you that are divine feminines, you are balancing out your masculine energy right now. That's why you have all of these male suitors sort of wanting to come in because you pretty much balance the yin and the yang, your divine masculine, divine feminine, right? Um, and because of this healing, for those divine masculines that are watching me right now, you are on your shit. Look at this. You are in emperor mode. Okay, so we got emperor... We have Knight of Wands, Five of Wands. This is the competing card, the suitors competing. And then we have Ten of Swords in reverse, so healing. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to pull some more cards from the Rider Waite. Can we get four more cards for Cancer from the Rider Waite, please? Then we're going to move on to the Shadow Deck. shuffle one more time. Reading now for cancer, please. Okay. Ready? Four more cards for cancer, please. There you go. We got five. Let's see. That's five of swords. Five of wands. Oh, I may have had that wrong. I thought that was five of swords. I was thinking it was five of swords. It's five of wands. Okay, hold on. I got to rethink that. I got to look that up. Six of pentacles. This person that comes in is going to completely... Um, they're going to be a giver just like you. They're going to give so much to this connection. They're very intuitive, just like you. You might be dealing with another water sign. They're very intuitive. 
you're going to need to use your intuition too. Wow, you got Ten of Swords in reverse twice. Look at this. You guys have gone through some massive healing, haven't you? That is amazing. Wow, it came out twice. All right, I got to look up what this Five of Wands means because... I thought it meant something else. I thought it was Five of Swords, and it's not. And now, for the life of me, I can't remember what Five of Wands means. My God. It's weird. Oh, so it does mean rivals. Okay. Competitiveness. Okay, so I was right. It basically means the same as the Five of Swords, sort of. So, um says competitiveness a rival threatening your position so yes people are going to be competing for you very nice I really quickly want to look up this ten of swords reversed It says to be careful of temporary illusions as well with the Ten of Swords. Okay, so just be aware of that energy of illusion. Um, yeah, I do see that someone will probably contact you. We have the Knight of Wands, which shows me someone making some fast forward movement towards you. Um, I feel like you're going to use your intuition when this person comes in. And your person is extremely intuitive as well. So you guys are going to be perfectly suited to each other. This card right here, the Six of Pentacles, shows me that they're going to give as much as you give. So if you're not giving a lot, then don't expect a lot, basically. <laughs> and look, the card of competition and suitors again. Your May or your June is going to be popping, basically. Okay. All right. So, but... So if you're new to my channel, just so you know, all of my readings are timeless. So whenever you find this reading, it's for you. And if you're a past subscriber, welcome back. I'm sorry, I'm just getting into your guys' reading today. Um, it's been it's been a bit of a, a month. Um, so that's all I'm going to say about that. All right, let's 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 do your shadow deck. Let me get a little bit closer here because it's hurt my tummy. Okay. All right, what shadows do we have for cancer, please? Shadows, if any, for cancer, please. It's hot in here. That's why I'm wearing this short sleeve dress. I'm sweating. I have the fan on. I should turn the air on, but then I'm afraid you guys won't hear me because that air conditioner is really loud. All right, what do we got for cancer, please? Any shadows for cancer? Two cards for cancer for shadows, please. giving of yourself that's not a shadow so that's good one more I don't have a lot of space on my phone I forgot to delete shit from my other videos so I gotta keep this reading short and sweet all right so we don't have any shadows we have giving of yourself which is number 10 so th there we there's a 10 again 10 10 10 okay so basically, um, you're going to be receiving a gift, um, but that gift will only come cancer when you give of yourself. So when you give yourself fully to someone and hand them over your heart, then the gift will be, you know, them giving something back to you in return. Do you see how this person is giving her heart to this divine masculine and in return he's getting receiving the gift of her and she in return is going to give is going to get their gift of him back so and look we have the lovers oh i told you someone's coming in um number 29 the lovers and it's number 11 it's a master number so for those of you that know you know the swans also represent a twin flame union so <laughs> take that as it resonates my beautiful cancers okay um let's do the who oracle i 
think I'm going to call your reading Competition Arises. All right, what do we got for... What are some character traits for our cancers so they can look out for... What are the character traits our cancers need to look out for in their person? Three cards, please. Light hair. Earth sign. Petite. <laughs> All right, so we have light hair. We have earth sign. So earth sign, what, what's earth sign? Um, Taurus, Capricorn. What's the other earth sign? No, that's Pisces is water. I can't think of the other earth sign. Virgo? Yes. So those are all earth signs. We have light hair. So your person possibly has blonde hair or dirty blonde hair or, you know, maybe they have white hair. I don't know. And then we have petite. So itty, an itty bitty witty little thing. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. So we're going to do your spirit message, and we're going to call this reading. I am using the Keepers of the Light to do your spirit message. All right. Spirit message for Cancer, please. What is the last thing you want our Cancer signs to know, our water signs to know? Is that all the decks? Yes, I guess so. All right, whatever. Damn, that flew out. I just barely shuffled. All right, we have Master Buddha, increased awareness. <clears throat> Deep connection and trust your inner voice. Deep connection, trust your inner voice. Okay, we're going to read it. Master. The Buddha, Siddhartha Gautama, started his life as a rich Mati coddled prince, but one day he broke free from the palace and was exposed to sickness, age, and death. This shook him and set him off on a spiritual adventure that would lead him to leave behind all earthly pleasures and seek enlightenment so that he could end suffering in the world. Now he helps us make contact with our inner teacher and encourages us to acknowledge how we feel and then accept it so that we can move beyond the suffering that we feel. You are moving beyond the illusions that fear has created so that you can be more focused on your priorities and what is serving you on this path. Hmm. All suffering eventually comes to an end and acknowledging how you really feel and what occurred in order for you to feel this way will help you to move beyond it. Call on Master Buddha now to help you remember you are a part of something that is greater than suffering. The wheel of karma is turning in your favor and all your acts of kindness and goodness will benefit you. Thoughts may arise now that solve issues in your life, your home or your relationships or work. They are being sent to you from your inner teacher, the Buddha within. Beautiful Cancer. All right, if you guys um, click on the little... Um, arrow that's over here underneath my description box or underneath it's underneath <clears throat> excuse me it's underneath um my videos it's <clears throat> and it's a little tiny arrow in the corner click on it and it's got my new website so if you want to book a reading with me i made it way easier to book a reading with me um you just have to <clears throat> go to the book now button it's it's like over in the corner and um it's on my Chakra Bunny website, which I created by myself. Um, and you just click on my services, or you click on book now, and then it shows you all my services, and then you click and um, you book whichever reading you want. So it's way easier to book me. All right, if you want to tip me, my um, tip jar is still linked below. Um, what else? My Etsy shop is linked below. Excuse me, and I have new products in there. I have such gas today. 
So I have this new product called Chakra Bunny Sexy Soak and it's bath salts that I created by myself. And everything in the bath salts are organic um, and they are um, programmed, um, activated for tantric sexuality and romance. So for those of you that are liking that, please try them out. They're available for $20 right now. Um, I also have um, I'm well I don't think I put them on there yet but I'm gonna be putting my third eye friends my new ones in there so they will be available really soon I have some new ones that I'm working on so they're not quite in there yet but the chakra bunny sexy soaks are in there uh, please check out my son's channel he's always linked in the description box below as well thank you for those of you that have joined me on patreon please um, if you feel so guided to join me on patreon and for my Patreons that are watching this, I have not uploaded the sexual energy reads yet for May. Um, I'm going to be doing them a little bit different this month, so I will announce that on my Patreon page and let you know what's going on with that. Okay, I love you so much, Cancer. Bye.